to another video of Reflection with PCUA. In this video, I want to talk about the early diagnosis of cancer. Cancer mortality can be reduced if cases are detected and treated early. There are two components of early detection. Early diagnosis. Early diagnosis of cancer generally increases the chances for successful treatment by focusing on detecting symptomatic patients as early as possible. Delays in accessing cancer care are common with late stage presentation, particularly in lower resource settings and vulnerable populations. The consequences of delay or inaccessible cancer care are lower likelihood of survival, greater morbidity of treatment, and higher cost of care, resulting in avoidable deaths and disability from cancer. Early diagnosis improves cancer outcomes by providing care at the earliest possible stage and is therefore an important public health strategy in all settings. Early diagnosis consists of three steps that must be integrated and provided in a timely manner, which are an accessing care, clinical evaluation, diagnosis, and staging access to treatment. The other component of early detection is screening. Screening is defined as the presumptive identification of unrecognized disease in an apparently healthy asymptomatic population by means of tests, examinations, or other procedures that can be applied rapidly and easily to the target population. A screening program must include all the core components in the screening process from inviting the target population to accessing effective treatment for individuals diagnosed with the disease. Some examples of screening methods are visual inspection with acetic acid for cervical cancer in low income settings. HPV testing for cervical cancer, pap cytology tests for cervical cancer in middle and high income settings, and mammography screening for breast cancer in cities with strong or relatively strong health systems. Compared to early diagnosis, cancer screening is a distinct and more complex public health strategy that mandates additional resources, infrastructure, and coordination. Screening programs should be undertaken only when their effectiveness has been demonstrated. When resources are sufficient to cover nearly all, all the target group, when facilities exist to follow up of those with abnormal results to confirm diagnosis and ensure treatment, and when prevalence of the disease is high enough to justify the effort and cost of screening. Screening can reduce death from cancer and, in some cancer types like cervix, can also reduce the risk of developing cancer. With this I finish this topic. I hope you guys like the information. See you next time.